Hey everyone, it's me Sandy and I'm back again with another pregnancy update yeah! finally and I think this update is long overdue because the last one I did was when I was still at 20 weeks and now I am on my 28th week going 29. It's been two months since the last one. <laughs> In this update, I will be talking about how I've been feeling and the visits to the OB, what I did, and more stuff like that about my pregnancy. <laughs> as far as I remember, in my last update, I said that I was feeling good and nothing was wrong. I think that's what I said. But anyway, a week after that, I had like extremely painful abdomen and also back pains. But the first one was the abdominal pains. It was so, so bad. It hurt so bad that I asked Mingo that we go to the see a doctor because I couldn't endure the pain anymore. We went there, I told the doctor what's happening, and then he prescribed me some medicines. And he knew I was pregnant, so the medication he prescribed me were safe for pregnant women. Honestly, I didn't want to take medications all throughout my pregnancy. But at that time, I was really so desperate because it hurt so bad. There were, I think, three types of medicines that he gave me. And then I had to take it only for, for three days and three times a day. So after that, it got better. But then I suddenly had back pains, like on my left, the left side. And what I did was just ask Mingo to massage me and occasionally put some heat pack. And yeah, I didn't go to the doctor uh, regarding my back pain. I just decided to take some action. Uh, I looked up on the internet what else I can do. So they said I should do some stretches and do light exercise for constipation. So I did light exercises here at home. I did something like marching in place <laughs> or just um, stretches, simple stretches. And also I asked Mingo to buy me some prunes. So I started to eat prunes every day. And just like magic, voila, I started going to the loo every day. And after that, I, I also drank a lot of water, by the way, like more than I usually do. And after that, it's all good. I go to the loo every day and nothing hurts. <laughs> And as for my cravings, I noticed that I started to crave for sweets, but I don't like them in the form of like candies or chocolates. I want them in the form of breads and pastries. And I often told Mingo if we can go to a bread shop and I can shop some bread. That's why as a solution, I think I just asked Mingo to order some um, bread and peanut butter and jelly. That's why I've been eating a lot of pb and lately But it has stopped now because it has been replaced with yukwa. It's a Korean snack Yukwa is like sweet but not too sweet and it's something that I can have whenever I crave for something sweet <laughs> And Mingo actually bought me so many he bought 3.5 kilos of it, <laughs> so there's so many at home right now. And don't worry, I got my glucose test at my 26 weeks checkup. 26 or 25? But anyway, I had my glucose test and I passed the first time. That's why I didn't need to do the second test because it goes like 2 hours, 3 hours, and then 5 hours, I think. But I only had to do the first one because they didn't find anything wrong. So yay, I'm okay. I don't have gestational diabetes. So that's good, <laughs> I guess. And yesterday we went to the OB and usually the first thing they do is take my blood pressure and then my weight. And I was really surprised because when they were taking my blood pressure, the reading was high. Like it was 124 over 90. So I was really surprised. I was shocked because I'm usually like so low. So the nurse was also like, because mm -hmm, the the thing they used was the like a machine, not like the manual blood pressure equipment. Anyway, and then they took my weight, and my weight is I am gaining weight, as you can see. I think later I will show you my bump. I'm getting bigger. But don't worry, I'm still in the normal weight gain range. So I'm still safe. 
and the doctor didn't say anything about my weight gain so I'm still okay but anyway the nurses asked me to take my blood pressure again like five minutes later and then thankfully the reading was back to normal it was I think 107 over 70 so it's normal and I'm thankful because I was really nervous I might have preeclampsia but everything's good and also as for my bump it's so big and my my what do you call this the belly button is starting to pop out <laughs> but I can't show you it because I think it'll be weird to show you it <laughs> and as for the baby he is growing well and he's getting really cute he is now 1.1 kilogram and his face is getting chubbier. We, we didn't really get to see her, his face properly because he kept covering his face with his hand. His position is always like this, like this and yeah, it's kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> we were a little sad that we didn't get to see his face clearly. I'll show you a a short clip of the ultrasound but anyway he's growing well although the sonographer told us that his head is a little bit bigger than his age he is 28 weeks right now but his head is the size of a 30 weeks fetus but that sonographer assured that not to worry it's okay for now i think but i'm honestly worried because that can be a reason to do CS and I don't want CS. I want to deliver normally. Vaginal delivery. <laughs> and as for how I've been feeling, these days, as always, I feel so tired and I'm always thinking of sweets. <laughs> In my first and second trimester, as you all know, I crave for something with soy sauce always. But now, I just want something sweet but in the form of breads and pastries <laughs> and i've also been having problems with sleep because my frequent urination is back again my best friend <sighs> it's really hard to sleep because every time he moves a lot like a lot like super a lot <laughs> he's very active and then every time he moves like at any movement it makes me feel like i need to go pee and it just sucks because even though i'm so so sleepy i can't sleep because i just keep going back and forth to the bathroom and i've also been experiencing braxton hicks they said it's the painless contractions and do you think i'm a weirdo for liking the sensation of the contractions it's not painful it's just like the feeling of contracting tightening but i like it i like feeling it it makes me feel that there's really someone inside me <laughs> so i enjoy it am i a weirdo for thinking that <laughs> and oh by the way in my most recent ob visit they gave me the tdap vaccination and it's good stuff <laughs> And as for what I'm up to these days, I've just been lazing around at home. I never really go out unless I go to the OB. I've been busy playing brain games. I reckon it's also good for the baby, <laughs> but I enjoy it a lot. There's this game that I play that requires a lot of thinking. <laughs> so Mingo also likes games like that. That's why we play together. It's fun. Also, we booked uh, Jory Won. It's like a thing here in Korea. It's like a hotel for mommies who just gave birth. Right after delivering a baby at the hospital, they go to a Jory Won. It's like a hotel where the mommy can rest and have a fantastic time healing. And we booked a special room for a week i think a week is enough for me and also i will be vlogging my birth 
and my jury won't stay so watch out for that oh it's almost coming three i think three months left so watch out for it and yeah i'm so sorry if this update is like all over the place because it's hard to do when there's like two months of stuff to cover but next time i will really um do my best to update at least once a month anyway thank you guys for watching and also i promised our members that we will do a video greeting but since i'm alone right now amigo is not right here i will just insert the video because i will wait for him to get off from work and then we will do the video greeting together to our precious precious members thank you so much and yeah that's about it and uh, i'm tired i'm just gonna show you my bum i'm tired i'm big i'm fat and i'm tired again and i want to pee <laughs> do you remember this dress if you saw our cherry blossom video last year this is what i wore it's not really like a maternity dress but i'm just wearing it because i don't i mean i no longer have any other maternity dress i guess this will do and look look at my belly it's so big and something else is getting bigger too i don't know if you can tell but yeah it's so big now and heavy and i'm only at 28 weeks i feel like at 40 weeks it will go up to like here like a really really huge watermelon hello so now mingo is back from work and we are gonna give a shout out to our precious members so please go ahead and read their names mm, thank you so much barney Beckham, and Liam, and jocelyn and Janalin, basa and michi uh o -ob obregon <laughs> and uh Aberi, Jasmine, and Lutan, and Krajon, Basuli. <laughs> Bakuli, Bakuli, Bakuli. So, Bakuli. Thank, thank you. you guys so much for being our members. We are so thankful and happy. <laughs> thank Salama. you. Salamat po. Thank you for joining our. Membership. Membership. Thank you so much. Wait. Please don't forget to subscribe. Yay! <laughs>